In this video, I'll show you how to do some PowerPoint basics in PowerPoint 2011 for Mac. So when you open up PowerPoint, I generally recommend keeping a very simple background and just choosing the white template here. So it'll open up with this default first title slide, which is probably fine. And then when you make a new slide up here, it has this default format with a title and then bulleted points. But generally a PowerPoint best practice is to avoid a lot of bullet points. So I like to change my layout to title only instead right here. So here's where you would type the title of a slide, which should be a summary of the point that you're making. And then each slide should verbally elaborate on the slide a bit more. So let's find an image for this slide first. So I'm going to go to Safari and search for one. So I'll go to images here. And let's say I wanted this one. You can click copy image here. This is the easiest way to get an image from one place to another. And if you don't have the option to copy the image, you may need to click on it and actually go to the website that has it. And then here, and remember, right click on a Mac mouse is the two finger tap. So there's copy image as well. So then back to PowerPoint here. I'm just going to put my mouse, just click on here and then do the two finger right click again to paste the image. There it is. So you may want to move it around. So to do that um, on, the mouse, my, uh, on the Mac trackpad, um, you would click and then drag with your other finger. So I'm using two hands to do that. <clears throat> so then here you would say, you would have some sort of descriptive title that's a complete sentence. So. So the an amazing composer or he wrote blah blah blah. And you can move this wherever you want on the slide. Um, if it doesn't distort too much, you can make it a bit bigger. But that's starting to look pretty pixely. So so then let's make another slide, and it kept that last layout change, so that's nice. So then let's say you want to add. Um, some audio to this slide. So if you have it in iTunes, you can do the audio browser. I'll just randomly put in a birthday song. Now here's a kind of tricky thing. If you click on it, it plays. It's your birthday. But we don't actually want to play it. So I'm going to drag it over. And that's how you get it on the slide. <clears throat> so then you can drag it wherever you want it to go on the slide. And you may want to put some text with it so you know what it is. So to do that, you just double click next to it and it'll start a text box. So and then when you put it in full screen mode and you present later, oops, it actually went to my other screen. So we're seeing the presenter mode. Um, you would click the play button here. It's your birthday. It's really quiet, but it's playing. So I'm gonna escape to get out of here. And you can put multiple um, audio files on one side if you want to. And of course, you want to have a title up here describing what they are. So another thing you may want to do is link to YouTube videos. So here, um, what you could do is just put in a title. to YouTube and get the link here about a video. So I'm doing the two finger tap again to copy that. And then I'll go back to PowerPoint here. Um, so what you do then is highlight the words that you want to be linked and right click again, double tap. There's probably many other ways to do this. Um, hyperlink. 
And for some reason I cannot double tap to right click here, so I had to do Command V, which is the keyboard shortcut for paste. So that's Command V to get it in. And here's the text that will display. We can just hit OK. And now it is a hyperlink. And if you want any of these videos downloaded and saved on the university server, you can just email me. Um, another thing you can do is link an image to a video. So if we go back to this one, you just click on it so you get the edges to look like this. And again, do the two finger tap to right click, hyperlink, command V to get it in here, and OK. So then when you go into presentation mode, which looks a little weird because um, I have another monitor attached to this computer. Oh, if you mouse over it, oh, where'd it go? It was showing the URL, but now it's gone away. So if we click, then it goes to the video. So it's not as elegant as embedding, but at least it's a way to organize an escort. So those are some good basics. If you have any questions, let me know.